Greetings everyone, Xanrath here, and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper, where last time we uh, rounded out our party. We got all five people here now. So, let's go ahead and uh, continue questing and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, let's hit up these two uh, rescue missions before we, um, eh, don't want to try the level 16. Maybe we will. Um, but let's, yeah, let's do these before we go on with the main quest. Because, you know, we gotta do all the side quests and, you know, get the fat loots and all that stuff. So a little kid walks towards you and asks, Have you seen my grandpa? I do not know him. How am I supposed to know where he is? Oh, you? He's just a child. Do you need to be that rude? Uh, we will look for him, little kid. Where did you see him last? Danger. Defeat all three enemy waves and rescue the grandpa. Okay, so rescue quests, I guess, are waves. You have to kill stuff in waves. Um, let's see. Let's slowly... Actually, these are just rats, right? Can I just melee them down? Yeah, basically. Uh, hit that one. Rogue can hit that one. And Druid hit that one. Easy. Next. At last. You know what? Just slowly... We'll just whittle them down this way, because it's like, not that, oh man, big deeps there. Alright. I want more items, come on, update your character sheet, we'll do. Um, she's level 6, so what do I have? Um, let's bump this one up, DPS abilities. Alright, elite rat, doesn't matter, we just melee them down. All day, all day. Cool. Done. Alright. Thank you. I couldn't leave because the church was filled with monsters. Yay! Grandpa's back. Quest done. Do we get fat loots? Oh, you get a carrot. Uh, I was hoping to get gear, but okay, that's fine. Um, what's next? Oh, these are travel. Wait. Were they travel quests? I thought I was doing rescue quests. Yeah, there you go. Travel. Oh, the travel is the... The one I need to do. I was supposed to go to that new village. New quest hub, right? But before I do that, let's hit up the this rescue quest. Uh, the merchant. I want to buy some new items. Where's the merchant? Ah, do we unlock new purchasable, purchasable items by doing this quest? Perhaps. We'll see. You've uh, checked his tent, but could not find him. Perhaps you should ask the blacksmith where the merchant is. Oh. Hey, blacksmith. Have you seen the merchant around? The last time I saw him, wa uh, he said he was going to the Den of Devil to gather some crafting materials. But that was two days ago. Maybe he got trapped there in there. Oh no. Don't worry, we're going to find out now. Uh, yep, sounds good. Let's hit it up. Boom. Act 1, Quest 1, level 4. So it should be easy, pretty easy. Feed all four enemy waves. Done. Just melee them down. Spam it. Easy, easy. Yep. Give me some fat loots. Dang. Alright. Whatever. Just melee them down. Spam it all day. Boom. Give me fat loots. Come on. Dang. Alright. Oh, slimes. Haven't fought you guys before. Ooh. That's not very much damage. But she also wasn't melee or heat. Wait. Who would attack? Just a mage, right? Okay. Let's see how this works. Um... See that works. Got him. Crit. Mm, I think that was a crit, right? When the little, uh, what would you call it? It's like in those comic books, like the bam, pow, that kind of thing appears. I'm guessing that's what a, um, what you call it? That's what a crit is. Maybe that was a crit too. I don't know. Wasn't paying attention. I blinked. Uh, same with the fireball, I suppose. Boom. And uh, pretty sure a melee to kill him. Got him. Got him. Uh, let's hit up this guy with the hibernate. And... Uh, just go ahead and strike him. This one, that is. Uh, just melee him, I guess. That was fine. Let's hit this guy with the deep freeze. And just melee him. Goes down pretty easy. Just melee him. Uh, you know what, let's top everyone off. Just cause, even though it's just those two that needed the heals, right? Ah, not quite. Oh, nice, before you got attack off. 
Okay. So, more carrots. King Slime. It's an elite guy. Let's hit him with the Cuss of Blow. Oh, stun immune. Alright, I see, I see. Is this still a stun? Does that count as a stun? Yeah. Don't hit him with the Fireball. Oh, big hit, big hit. Uh, let's hit him with the Strike. I think there's one more wave after this, right? Uh, Federal Rage. Uh, let's go ahead and just restore, just for kicks. Uh, let's melee him, I guess. Melee is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Is that it? We're done? You did it! Now I can go back to work, thanks! Quest done. Merchant's back in town. One potion. Sounds good. Let's um escort the little kid. Get more slaying quests. Is that cause I'm here? Dark bat, slimes, king slimes. Really? There's another bat one? I'm gonna spawn these monsters and make them attack you so you can have so I can have fun too. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Sure. Uh you're being attacked by minions, defend yourself. Uh I wish I could have two quests at a time. Alright, piece of cake indeed. Melee, oop. Yeah, let's hit that guy. And Meteor, I'm all down. Oh, just kidding. Well, that's kind of awkward. Take those guys out. Melee this guy. Yep. Hit. Hit. Okay, now what? I mean, if the quest pops up, might as well do it. Just because fat loots. It looks like you need... You'll need something better than that to stop us, huh? Don't worry, evil laugh. You're not safe. Okay. What's the next one? Escort? Sounds good. Suddenly you start to hear strange sounds. What, the, what is happening? I'm going to... I'm doing a perception check. Let me do it. Let me do it. Rolls per perception check. I mean, he is a rogue. Rogues typically have good perception, right? Wow, nice. 20 back there. You hear the sound of a crying child. Although it doesn't actually... I think it's, it's scripted, obviously, but still. Yay, let's find out where it's coming from. Little kids, uh, sob. Emojicon face. Not Emojicon, but, you know, that kind of face. Um, wait, is that emoji? Or is, like, the actual pictures... Are those actually... Are those emojis? No, those are emoticons. These are emojis, right? I can't remember. Hey, kid! Didn't we see you at Default Village a while ago? Was he the guy who's looking for his grandfather? Uh, sob. Yes, I want my mom. I want my home. Okay, we're going to take you back to uh, to her. Stay close. Oh, that's it's the reason I have those quests is because I'm in this area. Maybe um, stay close to us and let's go. You should escort, escort the little kid back to Default Village. Oh, travel to the village? I don't really want to. Fine, whatever. I'll do it. Eighty-one percent complete. Maybe I'll finish up these areas before I move on. The party's being attacked by the little kid. Oh, really? I just... Yeah, easy done. Alright, I mean, it's a level 3 quest, so, yeah. I mean, in other, like, in RPGs, where, like, the goal is to get to end game, right, uh, I wouldn't do all these, like, little side quests and whatever once I've out-leveled them, but, I mean, in this game, don't really know what to expect, might as well do them when we can, right? Uh, and also to kind of help catch these guys up uh, quickly, or at least easily. Don't get lost again, so I promise, you are so brave! And hopefully getting these quests, boom, yeah! Uh, gives me items, so that's that's nice. How are you carrying this? Regen one life. Could I want to have regen one life? A warrior already seems to be doing pretty well. Um, I don't know. I might as well give it to him, I guess. Who needs this crafting success thing? I don't think I need it right now. So hold on to that. Uh, travel. Pass on that. Carrots. Um. You know what? Let's hit up the this place. Oh, it's 100% done. Screw it. I'm gonna travel because I thought there was more stuff I could do there, but it says it's 100%. So maybe I'm done. Yep. I was kidding. Uh, not kidding. I was uh. Yeah, I guess I was. I was JK. Then I'm gonna go there. Let's go. I was here before, right? So let's hit up this place. Ah, so you have to roll between each point. I see. Just to make sure you don't get attacked before you get there. Um, 
deliver, sure, deliver something will, uh, deliver something for a chance to gain items, enemies will attack and trap, uh, so I'm gonna do this first before I move on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had slay quests, or maybe you can only do a certain amount of quests in, per, uh, per zone. Ah, maybe that's the thing, so let's start with the higher ones then, huh? And probably more illustrious, uh, not illustrious, but, like, valuable loots, rewards. Are prepared for my minions? Attack! Bring it on. Seven, huh? Cobb's a level nine. Let's do three for now. Yeah. Just just to, just to play it safe. Don't want to be too hasty. Right. Uh, set up that guy. Stun. We'll get the CC chain rolling. Boom. Stun line for days. Oh my gosh. Totally forgot about that. Oh man, this is going to be so fun. We have so much CC. Um... Him with a smite. This is perfect. I mean, I need to get I need to get initiative to uh, my druid now because I can do triple stun. Uh, triple stun. That'd be so great. All right, stun lock there. Deep freeze there. This is so good. All right, let's go ahead and just do that. I'm I'm definitely feeling that I made the right choice instead of picking up um, a what you call it. I should have done that guy with the magic res uh or less magic, right? Anyways, uh, keep the CC going. Or just kill him, that's fine too. Let's hit him with a fireball. And... Oh, didn't kill him. That's too bad. Oh, but he died. Oh, from the bleed. And probably from the fireball tick. But yeah, I'm definitely liking my party composition right now. What, did, what was the only other class that I passed? Did I pass on anything else? It was Paladin and... Was there another class that I passed on? I don't remember. I don't think there was, actually. So I'm really liking it. I mean, I like my warrior because he's kind of tanky, but still more focused on DPS, and that's kind of how I play, or how I wanted this to go. Got my healer, my straight-up healer, and I got my three DPS that all can CC, so I'm really happy with that. All right. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't really care for this right now, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, bump up the single-target DPS. Um... Uh, single target DPS. I really don't care for... I uh, Maybe I should put some points into this at some point, but I really don't care for that right now. It doesn't seem to be necessary. I can just straight DPS. I can just DPS race people uh, all day. But I'm, I'm guessing later on you'll have like tougher uh, creatures to fa uh, face off against. Maybe you have to deal with CC yourself, so stuff like that might be worth it. Or debuffs and all that stuff, right? So, um... You know what? Just pump his damage. I don't even care. Just doing it. Alright, what else you got? Oh, I'm still going to do four more of them. Ah, uh, we can definitely handle that. Can we? Mana-wise? Yeah, decent. Let's do let's do four. Whoops. Alright, cool. WTF? Uh, let's hit up... Oh, wow, he's like slow. Super slow this time around, huh? Alright, we're going to hit this guy, I guess. And then we're going to stun that guy. Going to uh, hibernate this guy into a stun, I think. So hibernate that guy. Who am I? Who did I? It was this guy, right? That was um, uh, frozen. So he has the magic uh, debuff thing, right? Magic resistance, yeah. So we'll hit him there. And we'll go concussive on the hibernated guy. Nice. Wow. 42. I think it's the biggest hit I've dealt so far, right? Um, can I kill this guy off? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. So, well, I'll go for it just to debuff him as well. We'll hit up the deep freeze on this guy. And, oh, maybe that wasn't the best. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll hibernate. Uh... You know what? Let's go ahead and just DPS instead of CC. Got the bleed. He should die next turn. Whoa! Slow down there, chap. Uh, we'll go for the heal. Play it safe. And we'll go with the concussive blow on this dude. He's dead. Still make funny noises when they, um... Die. Let's see. Two. 
three, so I can deep freeze that guy. Five, I can sleep that guy. Actually, let's go try to kill him. Alright, so I'm going to deep freeze number four. Into a... Uh, he's still stunned on his turn? I guess I'll hibernate then. Mm. Boom. Uh, let's go with this. Do I want to circle? He only has damage right now, so let's go ahead and... Smite that guy. Not quite dead, too bad. Uh, let's double strike. Make sure he dies. He died on the first swing, so that's kind of meh, but whatever. Um, swing at that guy. Didn't die. Too bad. Let's deep freeze this guy. And the melee should kill him. Got him. Alright. Do I care to... Nope. Just melee him down. Melee him down. Man, he's doing so much damage. It makes sense because I pumped, like, five points into his thing, right? Alright. Alright. Let's see... Um, like if, I think I said last time, or at some point, right, I'm going to keep this low. Eh, and that is mostly used for the stuns rather than the damage, so I'm going to put one point in this. What will it do? Two more damage, uh, 2.5 more mana. Eh, you know what, I feel like, I really feel like bumping this up early on so I can get a lot of casts off. Um, It's going to be more useful than making these more powerful. Like, what, if I think about, like, getting into fights where it's going to be harder, they're probably going to last longer. Having more mana to use, like, stuff like stuns and, you know, damage, I think it's going to be better than, like, by, um, by increasing my spell damage through mana is going to be better overall than just increasing one ability, per se. But, you know, I don't know. Let's, let's keep doing that. I think that's fine. Maybe that's wrong, but, hey, I'm doing it. Um, what does this do? Raises sleep duration? Really? So it's going to be two turns? That could be really helpful, actually. I think I'm going to get that. Or what if I do this? Raises three mana and more mana. Huh. That's kind of interesting, because... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. How does this work? Increases MP by one is the cost. Okay, I was going to say, like, if it, inc if it raises my mana the cost by three, then it increases how much it, g it gave me by four, that'd be, like, really broken. But, no, it's, it's, it, uh, it's gonna be eight for twelve now, basically. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that. I think I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna put more points into this, just so I can have some, an even better CC. Because I'm guessing it breaks, you, uh, it's one of those where, like, it can last longer than one turn, but it breaks on damage. So, yeah, I'm gonna pump that up. Let's do that. Two turns. Great. Alright. Extra XP, extra XP, indeed. Fair enough. You've beaten me once again. I believe you're getting stronger, but not that powerful. That's great. Um, ooh, I can buy some stuff, right? Uh, what was I gonna... I remember looking through this stuff last time. What was I considering buying? Was it the items? Uh, blacksmithing, regen... It a, oh, it was a rug, right? It was... Was it this one? Gold on battle? And extra item. You know what? I really want this. I really do. I'm gonna buy that. And you know what? I have enough to buy this as well. So we get. So this is basically like I said last time. It's just an uh, investment, right? Put in some gold now, and hopefully I can get. I mean, four percent gold on each battle really is doesn't seem that much to me, but maybe it will be worth it later on. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I think I will. I could be buying gear for my guys, but I don't know. But the, having the book, I think, is gonna be nice because I really want to get some items. And hopefully I can get gear that way. So 2% uh, increased chance of getting items is, seems pretty good. Um, anything else? Nope, just delivering. Sounds good. You see a shiny object inside a tree hole. As you get near the object, uh, it glows even more. I want to touch it, but I'm so afraid of doing it. Okay, I shall pick up the object and place it in my bag. I believe the enchanter will enjoy this. Oh, I still haven't met this enchanter and this blacksmith. I'm guessing they're NPCs, right? Because, I mean, the blacksmith I know is an NPC, and enchanter, I'm guessing, is an NPC as well. Um, take the glows down to the default villager's enchanter. Oh, maybe this is the quest that unlocks it for me, or something like that, right? All right, let's hit us up, and boom. Danger. Party's being attacked. Protect Protect a glowstone. Oh, really? Come on. You can do better than that, man. Straight DPS. Click, click all day. Boom. Done. Easy. Can I get some items? No. Alright. 
too bad. Hit up uh, the quest, turn it in. You acquire the glowstone, travel to the default village, and talk to Enchantress or Enchanter about it. We found this in, uh, in the ancient jungle inside a tree. Are you interested in this? A glowstone? That's quite interesting. I will take a look at it. Thank you for helping. Uh, thank you for this. It will be a great help uh, to me. Okay. Um, well, there's the enchanter dude now, seems like. I don't see any new items. I don't see a blacksmith. I don't see a... Can I click up here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, well... Meh. I don't need to sleep, per se. My items... You know, are... You know... Not that exciting. Uh, settings, don't care for. Quest, chapel, battle, can just fight random stuff. Any new guys? Nope. Alright, so let's do some more quests. Travel, collect, escort, travel. Uh, level 16. My average, I think it's, I think quests are supposed to be based on like your average level. So right now my average level is, let's see, we're th uh, 1 and 4 under 11. So if we're at 10, we're, we're, my average level is about 10 right now, right, because we're plus 3 and minus 2, so a little bit more than 10. Um, uh, you know what, screw it, let's try it. Guess what, I guess you're uh, wondering why I would ask you to bring me some, or some carrots, actually it's not just some, but 20 carrots. Really? What is this about, a personal food delivery? Click hunger is because, uh... Carrots because I'm hungry. Miami Beach. Where is that? Level 18. Oh, that's higher than what the guy told me. So let's bail on that, I guess, then. Never mind. Yes. Does, can I get it later, though? Yeah, I can. All right, let's, whatever. Let's travel. Uh, now that you've become the default village, village heroes, you gain a lot of attention waking or walking around the village. Random NBC. <laughs> oh, my God. A hero among us, hug. Oh man, you're just gonna let random people hug you? While drinking and having fun at the tavern, a piece of paper was dropped on your table. Make a roll check. Maybe you uh, you noticed who dropped the note. Rolls one. Plus one, though, because I have the lucky. Uh, well, you think the note is a love letter from the barman. Uh, you take the note and start reading it. It says, Something strange is happening uh, at Sunset Castle. The king might be in danger. I'm sorry I can't reveal myself yet. Travel to Sunset Castle and discover what's going on there. Got it. Oh, there's a pirate thing here? Level 12. Um, wow, this is a fairly expansive world, I guess. I feel like something is going to get revealed, like over here or something. Anyways, um, travel. Oop. Almost, uh, at least, at least I went to the right place because I clicked on it accidentally. And that counts as traveling to it, I guess. Alright, cool. What's up? Ooh. Ah, here's where the blacksmith and stuff are. Up, uh, upgrade blacksmith to unlock new items. What is this? Ah, okay. So, I have to... Uh, oh, so I have to upgrade to unlock this item, but I can build him this. Interesting, interesting. So all the weapons I have to go unlock. How do I? How do I upgrade you? You don't have a grindstone. Oh, okay. Wait, buy them. Gather them in dungeons or buy them in the store. So I can build armor basically for everyone. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, store. You said there's grindstones here. Is that that thing? Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, any new equipment? And. On quick inspection, not doesn't seem like it. Let's go to the bar. What's this? We have characters at the bar to open space at your. T oh, oh! So I can get new players. That's cool. Okay, okay. I see, I see. So let's drop the druid in here. Now what? I can add a player. Paladin. That's the only class I can use. I don't really care for the paladin right now. So info. I can reset them or delete them. Oh, that's interesting. So reset. <coughs> um. Does that mean reset to level 1 or reset like my talent points? Let's hit that. Um, you want to reset skills from... Uh, okay, it's just the points then. Um, so we're not going to do that. Come back and join us. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that mechanic. 
Um, I'm gonna guess that you can, um, I think there's, uh, what is it called, unlockable classes, so maybe at some point we'll unlock something that's super OP and we can swap someone out. Alright, take a sip of water there, um, what can I fight here, Castle Guard, Bandit, and Castle Guards, alright, what's up here, man? Uh, hit up the quest. As you get closer to Sunset Castle, you have a terrible feeling. I have a terrible feeling. A strange feeling of evil emanates from within the castle. I guess we should continue anyway. The strange, or the, the strange feeling stays with you as you walk up to the castle gate. Rolls dice. Guards have noticed your presence by the gates. All right, because we are fugitives, right? I think. Oh look, it's the prisoners that escaped from Tower Prison the other day. Get them. Prepare yourself for battle. Pass through the guards and reach the king's room. Kill seven guards. Done. Uh, you're level seven. Anyone else is bandit? Uh, let's do three for now. Please don't cheat. All right. Uh, maybe I should have done more. One more at least, because I can CC tw uh, three of them, right? So we'll concussive blow here. We will deep freeze there. Uh, my druid gets to go. So nice. Um, before the other guy. Strike him here. And it was out. he's almost out of mana. Let's go ahead and sleep this dude. Boom. Get CC'd all day. Uh you know what? Just melee this guy. Um And we'll kick us a blow just to make sure he doesn't get attack off, but he's dead anyway, so yeah. Cool. Let's hit him there. Just melee that guy. Just melee him because he's still slept for one more turn. Boom. Hit him there. Deep freeze this dude. Melee him. Uh, just melee him because he's CC'd. Back to the mage. Boom. Easy. Okay. Nice. Ectoplasm. Plus one attack, plus one extra potion effect. Um, GG will play it. You know what? Rogues are a straight up DPS dude, so stack his damage, right? Um, need some more. Four more. Easy, easy. Wait, hold on. How's everyone's? Eh, we can CC pretty well. So let's add four of them. Start it up. Let's do it. Start with the concussive on him. And two of these will get attacks off. Can't prevent that, but it's okay. Um, hit him there. Mm. Okay, well, let's see. We will CC that guy, I guess. So just smit that guy. Um, let's go ahead and hibernate. Oh, eh, sleep that guy, yeah. Uh, warrior will hit this guy. Go with the concussive blow again. And mange deep freeze here. Okay, let's get some... Yeah, just keep smiting, I guess. Six is our kill target right there. Let's get some mana going. Alright. Kill target engaged. Cuts blow on three. And he's dead. Uh, deep freeze on new three. Not dead quite yet. Let's go ahead and just melee him. Um, sleep this guy again. And just melee him down. Boom. Uh, let's hit him with the fireball. Crit. Boom. Just melee him down. Done. Okay. Any more items? Not quite. GG well played. Indeed, indeed. I guess defeating the guards was easier than I thought. And for some reason, it doesn't attract the attention of more guards, right? You head to the king's room. Surprisingly, he still wants to see you, even though you just wrecked his guards. Uh, everything is quite different from your last visit to this room. It feels deathly cold, as if the heat from the sun has or had never reached here before. A chill runs down your or runs down your spine. You were so surprised by how the room looked that you didn't notice the king wasn't on his throne. Let's go around the room. Maybe the king was afraid of us and hid himself. Our reputation around here is kind of low these days, except you're a hero, at least in the default village. Uh, you search near the throne, and when you come or when you get uh, when you get close, the door to the room slams shut with a bang, a deafening bang. Oh, we're gonna have to fight some guards, huh? Or the king? 
You look back and the king is in the front of the room, staring at you, uh, staring back at all of you. His eyes are glowing red. Cursed king. Okay. You are not welcome in this castle. I put you in jail so you would not bother my plans. Incompetent guards, I'll extinguish you from this world for good. Cool. Um, guessing you stun immune, right? So let's hit up... Let's get the stuns rolling. Ooh. That's awkward. Just melee him, I guess. Um... I just melee him. Druid, let's get some mana regens. Oh, maybe I should have cast a spell, huh? There we go. Uh, just hit him. And back to deep freezing this guy. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. Yeah, I just mail him down, he's dead. Um don't even really need a heal, to be honest. Let's do a Can I hibernate the king? Nope, sleep immune. What a thought so. Alright, kill that guy. Um get some fireballs going on the king. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um Guess we'll go ahead and Hit him there. Go for some circle healing there. And... Get some Feral Rage going. Get some bleeds on that guy. Warrior Cleveland. Kill him off. Oops. Oh, I guess... He, oh. Okay, so I'm guessing this placement... Right, because it's usually staggered. So, this placement means that I would have hit this guy and this guy, but there's no one there. Okay. Mistakes were made, but it's okay. Um... Can I just melee this guy? Kill him. There we go. It's fine. Just melee him. And to be quite honest, just melee him. Melee. 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 Okay. Bat amulet. Nice. Four magic. Let's put it on my mage. There you go. Level up. And I want it in uh, DPS, of course. What's up? The dark presence is gone. The king's eyes are no longer glowing red. This place now feels exactly like the last time you were here. Uh, what is happening here? Was it a bad dream? We believe the dark presence took control of you in this castle, but apparently it's gone away now. And now that he's not cursed, we're okay. We're not criminals anymore, right? We're not fugitives. Uh, the curse has gone. Oh, what have I done? Thank you, knights of pen and paper. Uh, you saved me from my kingdom, from my madness that came over me. But what happened? A few months ago, my guards and I spotted a powerful mage in the forest. He was performing a forbidden ritual using a huge black stone. We tried to stop him from doing anything. All we could do was break the huge stone into little pieces. Hint. Maybe there will be a quest to check for these little pieces, of course. Keep that in mind, the game has just started. Unfortunately, we did not succeed, and the maid, the, the maid trapped us in that nightmare. I do not I do not know where he is right now. All I remember is that he needed all four artifacts from our pen and paper world. We must not let this happen. We'll try to look uh, further into the situation. I believe the villagers would be anxious to hear the good news. So here we go again. Travel back to Default Village and tell them what happened at sunset. Sounds good. Uh, down here. Boom. Okay. What do you guys got for me now? Boom. Boom. You arrive at Default Village and the Elder is already waiting for you. Welcome back to Default Village, Pen and Paper Knights. I hope you have some good news for us. The Sunset Castle uh, King told us what he knew. We managed to uncurse him. That's great news. Uh, oh, that's some great news. I'm glad to hear it. I shall contact the King soon. Thanks for your help. Good news is always welcome. That's a lot of experience. Ding. Oh, double, triple ding. Um. Yep, single target. Uh, let's put the one in here, just cause I feel like I might need it soon. And um, you know what? Straight up damage. Every uh, Briz is one in every hit. Yep, one more. Might as well. I mean this. I mean, I haven't really, I don't really, I'm probably not utilizing this as much as I, like, I really I haven't really needed it, right? Like, I can see it maybe in a boss fight just to set up for some big damage. This doesn't seem that impressive to me other than, you know, double 
potential for crit, so maybe like a this into that kind of thing, but you know what, these two, like this, just straight up damage and um, double uh, concussive blow is really what I've been using for him, so. Alright, well, we saved the king, that's all good, and um, are there any other new quests here? Small Blackstone? Of course, of course. Oh, why is this carrot thing level 5 now? Well, a couple more quests to do here now. So, uh, we'll go ahead and call it for now. So, um, yeah, next time we'll go ahead and, I guess, finish up the Fall Village. So, until then, thank you for watching. Bye.